हेलो एवरी वन आई एम संजय गुप्ता आई वेलकम यू ऑन संजय गुप्ता टेक स्कूल सो टुडे एज यू कैन सी वी आर गोइंग टू हैव वन मोर सेशन एंड इट इज़ डे फिफ्टी सेवन एंड टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट विजुअल फोर्स पेज एंड इन दिस सेशन लाइक दिस इज पार्ट वन ऑफ विजुअल फोर्स पेज सो आई विल बी हैविंग थ्री सेशन बैक टू बैक ऑन विजुअल फोर्स पेज so today we'll discuss about the basics of visual force right so that you can understand what visual force page is and uh, how we can create visual force page and uh, where we can actually use visual force pages right so those things i'm going to explain you in this session and uh, on my youtube channel there is no video related to visual force page so basically visual force pages we implement uh, while working with classic so uh, for your knowledge like in salesforce we have two types of experiences one is classic and one is lightning so in classic we generally implement visual force pages but in few of the project like if you are working in lightning experience then also there may be requirement of uh, implementing visual force pages so uh, on the demand of viewers like i am going to explain you briefly what visual force pages and how you can create it okay so welcome everybody once again and uh, i am going to start the session so if you have joined this session for the first time so uh, through this slide you 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 can go through like what i have done what i am doing and what uh, uh, like what is the purpose of doing this boot camp so everything is written over here and uh, uh, we are just following all the learning best practices so i hope uh, everybody is following this uh, and uh, you are doing lots of practice so basically consistency is the key and uh, because of that you need to do regular practice so i can see lots of folks are utilizing uh, session tracker so here in session tracker you can see all the topics are organized so if you are joining this boot camp session for the first time so in the description of this video or this live stream you will find a link of this session tracker and uh, here you can see we have one exercise sheet link so if you click on this link so you will be having this exercise sheet where day wise exercises are available right so if you are a beginner and you want to really want to make your career in salesforce ecosystem so you can just go through with this right so these two like this sheet and uh, that exercise document these two resources are very much helpful if you are a beginner and you want to uh, make your career in salesforce ecosystem right and along with that you can see in different tabs we have information related to uh, other boot camps so cyber security boot camp is also going on in parallel and uh, uh, from next month i will be starting uh, coding boot camp for the beginners it will be based on c and c++ so uh, these i have uh, i am doing and i have planned so just follow this boot camp uh, session tracker she sheet so that you can learn many things about programming okay so if you want to join self help telegram group where lots of people are interacting each other so you can just scan this qr code and uh, you can just join that telegram group and uh, this is the timeline of the boot camp so uh, we are in week 16 we are going to discuss about visual force pages and uh, next two weeks are for integration right so lots of folks demanded like please have sessions on visual force and uh, integration so like this month uh, both the topics will be covered right and after completion of these topics i will be focusing on the front end development that is done through lightning components so we'll be doing lightning aura component development and lightning web component development and i will be uh, teaching those from the beginning so first i will be covering html css and javascript so here you can see i have just modified the session tracker properly so you can see visual force page sessions then integration 
then we'll be doing development project as well so one week i kept for that and then we'll be starting lightning component development so i will be delivering sessions on html css and javascript then we'll do aura component development for one week and then uh, like uh, we will be doing lightning web component development sessions right so three four four weeks are for this lightning web component and if uh, we need to discuss more topics so i will be modifying this right so this is about the uh, present and future of this uh, boot camp and uh, if you have not followed sanjay gupta tech school so you can just follow uh, this platform on youtube linkedin instagram and telegram and all the important links like session tracker exercise sheet those are available in the description of the video right so share this channel link with uh, lots of people those who want to uh, really make their career in it or salesforce ecosystem okay so now let's jump to build some uh, visual force pages so first of all i will be explaining what visual force page is right so uh, visual force pages basically uh, we use for uh, web development and uh, uh, in salesforce we have two types of experiences one is classic and one is lightning so in classic experience like we generally implement visual force pages in lightning experience these visual force pages are replaced with lightning component so in lightning experience we implement lightning aura component or lightning web component but in uh, previous times when uh, uh, projects were used to implement uh, with the help of uh, classic so at that time uh, thoroughly we used to implement everything with the help of visual force pages right so visual force is a web development framework which enables to build mobile and desktop applications right so if you want to create any uh, ui if you want to create any ui page so uh, that you can do uh, with the help of a uh, visual force page right nowadays in lightning experience it is replaced uh, with the help of lightning component right so apps those are developed through visual force can align with the styling of lightning experience so if you create any visual force so uh, like if you are creating any application uh, through visual force pages so uh, you can just align those with lightning experience styling as well and visual force can integrate with any standard web technology of javascript frameworks to allow for a uh, animated and rich user interface right so if you have created any visual force space so you can just integrate it with um, like web technology uh, so it can be lightning component so generally we uh, connect visual force space with lightning component and uh, uh, this way like uh, some sometimes uh, if you need uh, imp like implementation of visual force pages so in that case you can integrate that visual force space with your lightning component but we rarely use but uh, few viewers demanded like we need to understand how we can write visual force pages and how we can use it so uh, for that purpose i am just uh, conducting two three sessions on visual force so each page of visual force is accessible by a unique url that we'll see right now so i will be creating a visual force page and i will show you how you can access it and uh, uh, like similar to flows like if you create any screen flow so that screen flow you can place on the uh, lightning page it can be record page or home page or you can launch your flow through quick action so similarly if you have created a visual force page so that visual force page you can place on particular page like home page record page or you can create a tab for that you can also launch your visual force page through a quick action right so these things we can do so that we can uh, show that visual force page as part of the application so moving for further like when vf page is accessed it performs data processing required by the page and renders the page into html and returns the results to the browser right so generally in visual force page we'll be implementing html and uh, to implement some business logic that visual force page can be connected with any apex class right so the business logic will be available in the apex class 
that apex class you will be uh, using with the help of visual force page right so you need to connect your visual force page with apex class so apex class will be having all the business logic and uh, if you want to uh, connect with your s objects like your data so that can be done with the help of uh, that apex class right so moving forward like this is the uh, diagram with which you can understand the working of visual force pages so uh, you can consider yourself as a client and uh, uh, if you need to access salesforce org or visual force page so as a client you will be accessing those pages or org through internet and uh, at right hand side you can see we have three blocks so first is visual force page which will be available on the ui and uh, that visual force page will be connected with application logic in the back end this application logic is nothing it is actually your apex class and that apex class will be next uh, connected with your database so here database means your standard or custom objects okay so this way your uh, visual force page architecture basically works so on ui you will see only visual force page and uh, in the back end it will be connected with your apex class and uh, uh, in your apex class you can write some business logic or you can just uh, write the code so that you can interact with your database right so uh, with the help of this diagram i hope uh, you have understood the concept so moving forward i am going to show you how we can create a visual force page so that you can understand it well right so jumping to the org so now if you want to create your visual force page so for visual force page creation you just need to jump to developer console right under developer console you will be able to create a visual force page so now i am going to show you how you can do that so i'm just closing these files because these are not required right now okay so now what you need to do you just need to click on file okay you need to click on file and uh, here if you click on new so you will be seeing one option that is related to visual force page right so you need to click on visual force page and from here uh, if you uh, if you write name of that page so uh, let's say vf demo 1 so here you can see a visual force page is created and uh, these starting ending tags will be available automatically right now if i save it so uh, here you can see on top left corner we have a preview button so with this preview button if you want to Uh, view like whatever uh, code you have written in your visual force page how it will look like on the ui so here you can implement some code so i am just writing html tags so if you are familiar with html so i hope you can understand this h1 is for heading right so here i am writing my first visual force page heading then for paragraph we use p tags so my first vf page paragraph right so uh, these are actually html uh, tags or elements that we are using here so i am not going to explain uh, these in detail because uh, after integration we will be having specific sessions on html css then you will be able to understand but if you already know so this h1 is for heading and p for paragraph and uh, according to these uh, elements properties they will be rendering the result on the ui so what i am going to do i am going to save this code now i have implemented this sample code in this visual force page now i just need to view how it will be looking on the ui so i just need to click on preview as i click on preview so here you will see output will be available right so my first vf page heading it is in bold because it is a heading and then we have a my first vf page paragraph so it is shown as a paragraph right so it is not bold it is uh, shown uh, in simple form 
right so this way whatever code you implement in visual force page so through this preview button you will be able to visualize how it will be rendering on the ui right so uh, this this is the basic about visual force page now i can see there are few questions so let me just take those questions so so there is a question like uh, someone is looking for career in salesforce so just learn uh, salesforce admin development few clouds and then uh, do some certification then if you apply for the job so you will get um, immediate response so praveen uh, this project that uh, that i will be uh, demonstrating so it is it is basically recruitment application that we implemented while working with admin so here you can see some pre requisite sorry pre requisite links are available so project doc link is available so if you have not implemented this admin project so do implement this project before starting of this development project week right because i will be extending that admin project only to fulfill the requirement of development project so session number 16 to 21 i already explained these things so through those videos you will be able to implement that project right otherwise it will be difficult for you to understand so rajiv is asking can we create vf page without going to developer console directly from salesforce page so i think you can do it from here if you go to home and from here you can search for visual force pages so from here also if you click on new so your visual force page will be created right so you can just provide label name and then here you can write the code right so this way uh, from here also you can create your visual force page Uh, yes firus you can create visual force page via uh, vs code and uh, raju is asking can we use lwc in visual force so i am not sure like i don't think we can uh, but i i will uh, explain this uh, question while we'll be understanding lightning web component right and uh, uh, generally like you won't be using visual force page uh, while implementing lightning web component because all the features those are available with visual force that you can do with lightning web component as well so pooja is asking from where we can learn all visual force tags so uh, those you can learn through the documentation of visual force so you need to search for salesforce official document for that but uh, don't worry uh, soon we'll be covering html css so uh, yeah so right now for this visual force page understanding you need some uh, html css basics but now i am not going into the detail i am just explaining you how you can create visual force pages how you can use it at different places and a uh, few basic code basic codes uh, related to html right uh, still if you are not able to understand no need to worry because in lightning experience uh, we rarely use visual force uh, implementation Uh, yes praveen we can set validation rule on visual force pages like if you create a ui so you can just apply some validations as well so validations will be like business logic so that business logic you uh, you can implement while uh, writing the apex class that you will be connecting with your visual force page so vira is asking vf is required for salesforce development or html is enough so actually uh, vira so uh, if you work on salesforce classic then you need visual force but if you are working in lightning experience then visual force is not required uh, in that case you will be working on lightning web component and uh, for lightning web component we need html css javascript as a base 
सो पूजा दिस इज द ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग एलिमेंट फॉर विजुअल फोर्स पेज सो दिस इज बाई डिफॉल्ट अवेलेबल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट एनी कोड सो यू विल बी राइटिंग द कोड इन बिटवीन दीज राइट सो यू आई थिंक यू बाई मिस्टेक क्रिएटेड लाइटनिंग सॉरी विजुअल फोर्स पे विजुअल फोर्स कॉम्पोनेंट यू डोंट नीड टू क्रिएट कॉम्पोनेंट यू नीड टू क्रिएट विजुअल फोर्स पेज सो देन यू विल बी हैविंग दीज दीज एपिक्स कोलन पेज सो दीज आर सम प्री बिल्ट एलिमेंट्स दैट यू विल बी यूजिंग सो अंकित एडवांटेज ऑफ विजुअल फोर्स पेज इज लाइक इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन सेल्स फोर्स क्लासिक then we implement visual force pages nowadays we uh, we don't implement visual force pages because we have lightning aura component or lightning web components so gabriel it is not deprecated as of now that's why we are able to implement it it is not deprecated so you can create but it is more related to salesforce classic uh, it is not related to salesforce experience much salesforce sorry lightning experience much so in lightning experience basically we focus on aura and lwc so you can see you can say like these are outdated uh, features but still available to use okay so moving forward like uh, now i am going to show you like if you have created any visual force space so how you can create it stab so that you can place it in the navigation bar of any application so let's understand this so it will be very easy for you to understand so here you need to search for tabs if you click on tabs so here lots of tab options are available so as you know whenever we create any custom object so we create a tab for that so similarly if you create any visual force page and that page if you want to add in your application so for that visual force page you can create a tab right so now what i'm going to do here through this new button i will be creating a visual force page sorry visual force page tab so from here i can select the visual force page so right now in my org i have only one visual force page so that page i am selecting now tab label so i'm labeling it as vf demo then here i need to select a tab style so i can select any tab style it is similar to the tab style we select while creating tab for any object right so i am just clicking on next so here this with this step i think you are already familiar so while creating tabs for different objects we see this screen so from here like you can select default on default off or tab hidden as per the requirement so right now i am keeping it as default on for all the profiles now i am just clicking on next now it is asking in which application you want to add this newly created tab so i am unchecking all the applications and uh, i am going to select recruitment app so we created recruitment app so i am just selecting that app and clicking on save right so here you can see a visual force tab is created vf demo and if i take you to the recruitment app so there you will see that tab so i'm just opening recruitment application and uh, in this recruitment application you will see here you can see this vf demo tab is available if i click on this so it will show you the data which is available under visual force page so it is kind of showing in form of vf page or web page okay so here at the end you can see tab is available and if i click on this so here it is rendering so whatever you write whatever code you write in your visual force page that will be rendering here so it is kind of a web page okay so this is first way like how you can create a tab and how you can add it in the navigation bar if you uh, miss this tab uh, in this navigation bar uh, due to any reason so what you can do just click on this pencil icon 
and uh, from here also you can add uh, this item so, but right now it is already added so you can just ignore this but if you want to add so you can add it through pencil icon in this navigation yep so now uh, i can see firus mentioned one thing so uh, visual force like if you want to uh, do pdf generation yeah so for that purpose generally we use visual force uh, nowadays uh, yeah so this is true and uh, how we can do so you can just search the code on internet and uh, you can use that code in your system so that you can just generate pdf with the help of visual force Yeah, so uh, Pooja is asking why to use Apex component. So basically, there is one more thing. Along with Visual Force page, we have Visual Force component as well. So if you create this Visual Force component, then uh, it will show you uh, that Apex colon component. Right? So uh, I also never worked much on Visual Force pages because uh, Classic uh, got outdated in 2017-18 and uh, that time lightning was in pace so i also started my journey with lightning experience so i just know the basics of visual force that i am just explaining with you uh, i am just uh, discussing with you so that you also uh, can understand like how we can write the code here right so i hope you understood like how we can uh, use it as a tab now next i am going to explain like if you have created your uh, visual force page so how you can add that page on app pay, app or home or record page so if i take you here so you can see we have home page so now i am going to place our visual force page on this home page and app page and uh, record page are similar so if you understand how we can place a visual force page on home page so with similar steps you will be able to place your a visual force page on app page and uh, record page so you just need to search for visual force and uh, you can drag and drop it anywhere wherever you want to place your visual force page okay so here you can see it is showing no visual force pages available right so now uh, listen it carefully one thing that we need to configure so from here you will be searching your visual force pages uh, you will be editing your visual force page and here you will see one checkbox so right now this checkbox is unchecked available for lightning experience experience builder site and the mobile app so right now this page is not available for these places that's why when i try to search that visual force page so it is not available here so what i need to do i just need to enable this checkbox so once this checkbox is enabled it means that visual force page is available to place on the uh, like lightning experience pages it can be app page home page or record page right so i am just enabling this and uh, clicking on save so now that setting is modified if i go here and refresh the page so now i will be able to see that visual force page so here i am searching for visual force so now you can see we have demo one is available here so right now in my org i have only one visual force page that's why it is available here like this only one and this way it will render on the page so if i click on save so it will ask for yeah it is saved i am just moving back and on home page you will see the visual force page here it is so whatever you have uh, created whatever you have uh, whatever code you have implemented through visual force page so it will render here right and uh, it will be available to use so this way you can create visual force page and it can be placed on home page so right now i just placed it on home page if you want to place it on the record page so the steps will be same you can open any record 
and uh, you can edit the page and anywhere you can place this visual force page so i think it is very easy to understand so no need to uh, do the repetitive steps so for app page home page and record page uh, placement of visual force page is same right so i hope with this you also understood this step now next is how to launch visual force page through quick action like if you click on a button and if you want to pop up your visual force page so how it can be done so that i am going to show you right away so for example if we go to position and open any position record so here i want a button if i click on that button so that visual force page should render or should pop up okay so what i am going to do so visual force page is already available so i am going to object manager and here i am searching for position so here i have a option button links and actions right so i am just clicking on this so at top right corner i have a option for new action so i am clicking on it so here we need to select custom visual force right so this quick action we used while using screen flow at that time i selected flow when we'll be working on lightning web components so in that case you can select lightning web component if you are implementing lightning aura component so you can select lightning component only but right now we have created a visual force page and we want to launch that visual force page through quick action so what i need to do i am selecting visual force but here it is not available create a visual force page to use as a custom action let me just refresh okay so actually what i need to do so here we need to do some modification so uh, we just need to set some statement so that uh, this uh, visual force page will be available uh, to launch through quick action right so i am just going to modify the code and then uh, you will be able to see like how we can launch it uh, but it should be launched through this so let me just figure it out give me one minute okay so i am just going to modify this visual force page so these are simple uh, tags that i'm going to use so here in the first line like show header it is false so header won't be shown when this uh, uh, page will be rendered right and uh, standard controller means account so this visual force page will be connected with account so if you want to launch any visual force page through quick action so uh, you just need to write the code like this if you don't write uh, the code like this so it won't be available there it should be connected with particular object and then only you will be able to use that right so here i am going to create a table then inside table we have tr tag so tr is for table row in tables we have rows so if you want to create a row so you will be using a table row and then inside table row if you want to put some data 
so you can use td td stands for table data so here i am using uh, td and uh, so first table data is account name and uh, in second i am writing apex colon input field and here i am going to write value right so now you just you just need to understand what it what is happening here so this will be creating a row in table we have rows so this statement will be creating a row in that row we will be having two columns first first column will be having uh, this table data that is account name and second column will be having this table data that is account name so this is uh, actually an expression so we are using this standard controller account here through that standard controller we are fetching the name that is the api name of uh, that particular record so uh, on uh, any particular record if you are placing this or you are launching it from uh, that particular quick action so account name will be populated in this input field right so it is basically predefined now after this tr if you want to create one more tr so here what i am going to do i am creating one more td and here i am writing apex colon command button so command button value will be save and here i am writing action as save then i am just copying it and uh, pasting so uh, first command button it is labeled as save and second one i am labeling as cancel and action will be cancel so these are two buttons those will be available there so these are some salesforce specific elements apex colon input field apex colon command button right so through these buttons will be created and this input field will be creating a input box where account name will be available so now i am going to save it and uh, like here you can see the result it is previewed automatically if i close and preview it again so you will see the result like this so here we have two rows so you can see in the code we used tr twice this is first row and this is second row right so now in the result you can see we have a table which is having two rows in first row we have this account name which is td and this is like input box where we can have some data this is also through td so this is first table data and this is another table data right then in another table row we have two times td and these are apex command button so here you can see we have save and cancel two buttons available right now if i go here and uh, refresh the page so i am just refreshing it i don't know why it is still not available so i'm just checking uh let me just check uh, that setting again so f 
security is fine like system admin can access yep so here it is unchecked so i'm just saving it uh, i don't know why it is unchecked because we uh, earlier checked this checkbox now let me just check whether it will be available now so i'm moving to accounts clicking on button links and action clicking on new action yep this time it is available so i think maybe this is because of that checkbox right so uh here i can just provide a label so i'm labeling it as, labeling it as launch visual force and just clicking on save right so button is created and button is connected with uh, visual force page so here it is right so make sure i am just showing you this again make sure whenever you create your visual force page so this checkbox is checked if it is checked then only it will be available to use okay so moving back to accounts buttons and links and actions yeah so here it is and launch vf button is created now we need to go to visual sorry page layout and here i can add that button so i am just clicking on mobile and lightning action and here it is available launch visual force i am just clicking on save so moving here and uh, i am going to sales application so under each account record you will see that button launch visual force if you click your visual force page will be launched and this way you will have the data so here you can see account name is also populated on this account account name is 1304 so you can see it is populated here automatically right if you want to change it like if you want to add some more digits and if you hit save so it will be modified you can see right so this way you can just place your visual force page on quick action as well right so i hope you understood this so there were some uh, issues like uh, i just created a different code so you can just try it as well right now let me see if we have any question uh, yes vinay so similar to aura uh, we can launch our visual force page through Uh, mo like quick action similar to modal or so ravi is asking can we create the visual force page in lightning form lightning form means what uh, can you please elaborate more yeah i think we can call it using iframe uh vishal uh, if you want to build recruitment app so you need to go through the videos so that document is not available uh yes rajiv i just uh, did it on account yeah earlier it, it was on position but uh, uh, if if we uh, created it for account like uh, the standard controller account so it will be on account only right next we have one more thing like override standard button on links so what we can do like right now what happens if you click on this new button if you click on this new button so uh like this page opens so if you want to override the standard behaviors of the buttons so you can just override it uh, using visual force page so let me just see how we can do that okay so uh, what i am going to do uh, the code which i have implemented here that code i will be using and uh, i will be like uh, modifying the edit button
so basically i am moving here under button links and actions so on each record if you go here so i am not overriding new because it uh, it is on list view so instead of that if we open any record so on each record we have this edit button so i am going to override this edit button so if we go here so we will find this edit button available here and if i click on edit so here uh, these options are available so we have a standard button that is edit now if you want to override so from here you can select visual force page right so visual force page will be available and lightning experience mobile will be using the salesforce classic override and salesforce classic override is using the visual force page that we created right now so i'm just clicking on save so now what will happen that edit button won't be doing its normal functionality it will be just rendering that visual force page right so from here if i click on this edit button so you can see we are viewing this visual force page right so if any time if you want to override the standard functionality so uh, for that purpose also we can use this visual force page so i am just reverting it back so i am selecting no override and uh, clicking on save so now if i refresh so you will see the edit option so from here if i open any record click on edit so you will see the standard behavior and right now like it is showing in classic why so because so here we need to use it right so accordingly change these options okay it is not allowed so we need to choose it yep so i think uh, it is a cache issue so if you refresh multiple times so that will be resolved it will be giving you the lightning experience yeah here it is if i refresh so now i can see the lightning uh, you look and feel so if you open any of the account record and uh, if you edit it so you will see lightning experience ui okay so i hope this way uh, you got to know about the standard uh, behavior of visual force pages and tomorrow i will be explaining few more things so jana it will be very time consuming uh, process for me so i won't be able to do that because i don't have much time for this so kalyan daily class time is 7:30 pm and uh, you can just go through this session tracker this session tracker link is available in the description so here uh, day time date everything is mentioned so you can just follow this so you can find the link in the description of the video uh yes kalyan we have whatsapp group so that link is also available in the description yeah so jana we write standard controller equals to account so that uh when i am using account dot name so this visual force page can relate like this name is account field that's why i connected this visual force page with account as object right so uh, in in next sessions you will understand these things like uh, here in the third session you will be understanding how we can uh, connect with different as objects so i will be uh, creating a custom controller as well like apex class that we'll be calling in the visual force page so in three in these three sessions you will be able to understand uh, lots of things
uh, yes vinay we already showed uh, like i already showed you uh, through button also you can uh, launch your visual force page uh, akash yeah i use slack but for this boot camp i am not using slack we are communicating through telegram so ravi shankar you are asking can we create visual force like yeah we can we can apply that uh, look and feel but it will be very difficult but i think uh, we can apply salesforce lightning design system in visual force pages but instead of doing that you can just create uh, those those lightning components directly okay kalyan i am just going to share telegram group link in the chat so that you can access okay so guys if you have any more question you can ask if no then you can leave and uh, at 9 pm we'll be having one more uh, bootcamp session that will be on cyber security so i can see uh, huge response on that bootcamp as well and it is very demanding technology and salesforce itself says like they have uh, more than 80000 uh, jobs for that particular role so if you have not attended so uh, just just start following all the sessions of cyber security so till now we have completed total uh, six sessions right and this week we'll be conducting day 7 8 and 9 so uh, for knowledge wise this bootcamp is very much important so you will get to know about network so sumit explained these things very in very detail right and uh, today you will be uh, like in uh, this week you will be understanding different things related to cyber security right so if you follow this you will be able to learn things pretty well and uh, please spread this information with uh, other folks as well right so this is it uh, for today and tomorrow i will be explaining some more examples related to visual force page yeah so when i basically if you create a quick action if i show you the quick action so it will open like a model so if i click on this launch visual force so this way it is opening it in form of model through quick action but if you override any button so it will be redirecting it won't be opening a pop up okay so i hope uh, everybody understood whatever uh, i demonstrated today and if you didn't understand much so no need to worry because this is outdated and uh, we rarely use visual force pages in lightning experience okay so thank you so much guys um, uh, see you tomorrow at same time thank you for joining this session and uh, please uh, spread the word like from next week integration sessions will be there so those will be important for you because integration is demanding okay thank you so much see you tomorrow same time